game makers, if you're like me, then there may have come a time when you just stopped and realized MV's tile sets are very MV. Not quite as VX, but still very MV. Perhaps you thought, gee, wouldn't it be great if I could make my game not look exactly like everyone else's? Or maybe, just maybe, that when someone opens your game, their first thought won't be, oh look, another MV game. Well, you've come to the right place. Today, it's time for Echo's super amazing yet mildly frustrating tutorial on parallax mapping. First off, you'll need to acquire the Bind Pictures to Map plugin. Normally, there are plugin commands listed here, but I updated the plugin so they no longer show up for some reason. But that's fine, because I have them conveniently set aside in Notepad. Make sure the plugin is set to on, click OK, and we can start. The first thing you'll want to do is cover the map in some sort of ground tile. This isn't necessary, but it's a good place to start. Switch to the map layer so the grid goes away, and take a screenshot using the print screen button on your keyboard. Now we head over to our image editing program of choice and paste the screenshot. You want to select the map itself and crop the image to it. It might also be wise to turn the grid on, and make sure you set it to 48 by 48. Now we're going to start by making the ground look more dynamic. Since this kind of mapping is very case by case, it's up to you to decide how to make your map, though I suggest finding things like Photoshop brushes online, many of them are free to use, or all the cool stuff Gimp comes with that I would be using if I knew how. Once you have a basic ground layer, you'll want to start adding details to it. For this example, I'm going to be using one of the RPG Maker XP tile sets I made for my game. Now, if you're using something pre-made from an older RPG Maker, keep in mind that the tile dimensions will be 32 by 32, so you might want to upscale it to 150%. I won't be doing that, however, because my graphics were already 30% bigger than normal, so close enough. We're going for a forest sort of scene, so I'm going to start with trees. While you're adding things to your map, it might help to group things in folders to keep your foreground and background separate, unlike what I'm doing. If you really want to make it look good, I'd suggest adding extra shading to give it a better sense of lighting. Using the same sort of process, this method can also be used to create a shadow layer for any regularly mapped MV maps. I have a tutorial for XP maps here, but it's basically the same thing for MV, except you're using the plugins commands instead. When your map is done to your satisfaction, you'll want to save it. Make sure to save the editable file, so you can go back and edit it later. You'll want to save the full image to the Parallaxes folder. You'll also want to put an exclamation mark in front of the file name. This will make the parallax stay in place. The next part can be very annoying. It's not as big of a deal if you're using the default MV sprite, but if you're using anything bigger, you can have problems with overlaying the image. If you're using the default sprites, it's safe to just save the ground layer and then everything else separately. If you're using bigger sprites that could potentially overlap the overlay, you'll want to make sure the bottoms of any buildings, trees, and other such things are set to the bottom layer, and the tops are set to the overlay layer. I'm telling you now, this can be a real pain. It took me a few tries off camera to actually get this to come out right. Anyway, with all of your overlay layers showing, and making sure the background behind them is transparent, go to Save and save it under the Pictures folder. Then, hide all the overlay layers and only show the bottom ones. Again, save under pictures. There's one last thing we're going to do before we get to the actual RPG Maker part. You'll want to open up an A tile set, and make one of the tiles an X and the other an O. This will be used to indicate which part of the maps are passable or not. Normally I just set these on any tile set, but MV was glitching out on me, so we're doing it this way. Save the new tile set to the tile sets folder, and now we can go to MV! First things first, you'll want to set the map's parallax as the full image and set it to show in the editor. Create an event and set the trigger to parallel. Open the event command screen and go to page 2. Select show picture, set it to picture number 1, and select the lower map image. On page 3 you'll find plugin command. You'll want to type in this code, bind picture to map space 1. The next plugin command will be change picture layer space 1, space below, underscore characters, as you can see on the screen. Now show your second picture, picture number 2, the overlay image, and enter the plugin command, bind picture to map space 2. Now as an extra thing, I'm changing the parallax to be the sky. If you've seen my sky reflections tutorial video, you'll know where I'm going with this. Anyway, close off the event with an erase event, and hit OK. Now go to the database and set your new tile set. Make sure the X is checked off as X, as well as the tile below it. Click OK. Now let's go down to our map and switch that tile set we just implemented. You'll want to select the X tile and go over areas in which the character can't walk over. 
Similarly, do the same with the O tile over places where the player can walk. When these are done, paint over the X tiles with the blank one directly below it. And then do the same with the O ones in the tile directly below it. Now just make sure your character is starting on the map, and let's test it! There you have it! An interesting and somewhat less square way to do your maps! If you want to see how to just do a lighting overlay, I'll point you towards my RPG Maker XP video as a guideline. And if you want to know how to make the sky reflect in the water in VX and also MV, you can head over here too. If you have any MV requests, leave them in the comments! Until next time, later gamers!